Well, welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. And for today's video, I wanted to talk about what I think is probably the biggest mistake comic book collectors make when buying CGC 9.8 books. And I've sort of broke it down into like the main simple mistake. Um, and then I have three sort of kind of mistakes within the mistake, I guess, that uh, more kind of practical things that people do wrong, I think, when purchasing CGC 9.8 books. Because there's certainly... Um, you know, things you can do that kind of make the experience, that could make the experience pretty negative buying CGC 9.8 books. So, in a nutshell, the overarching biggest mistake that people make uh, buying CGC 9.8 comic books is overpaying. And, you know, overpaying is really bad because kind of a year after you overpay, um, you kind of realize you overpaid and then there's a big buyer's remorse and then you could get frustrated and kind of turned off to the hobby. And I think this is a good video to uh, kind of listen to me, I guess, because I feel like I've literally made every mistake for sure, like many times over too. And I feel like even sometimes if I'm willing to overpay by like 20 or $30, I just make the mistake anyway, just because I want the book right now. But it's really, it's a lot better if you kind of understand what's going on. So <laughs> um, overpaying kind of the biggest overarching mistake and I've made all the, a lot of mistakes so as I said I kind of break it down into three uh, more practical things the first thing is you know uh, there's it's really easy if you kind of don't know what's going on and you're not sort of mindful is um, to buy after announcements or buy during a movie or during a show or because with those appearances comes lots of promotion and with that promotion you see it and then you think it's really cool and so, you know, I've certainly been there where, you know, something's really popular and you kind of want it and a lot of people think it's cool at the moment and it's quite expensive for that reason. So, yeah, one of kind of the big uh, mistakes is people buy a lot of books of that t type of thing or related to that type of thing all at one kind of time. And, you know, a year later they find out once the hype subsides for whatever thing it might have been, uh, they kind of realize they overpaid quite a bit for a lot of those issues um, and then that can frustrate. So yeah, for me, um, I know um, I brought out uh, Ultimate Follow number four and uh, during when uh, Into the Spider-Verse was in theaters, um, this book was, you know, it, going for about 450, I would say like sort of in between 400 and 450, rarely would go under 400. Sometimes, I think during the movie, you'd see some go for 500 and even over. Maybe for a couple weeks there when the hype was real at its peak. Um, whereas, you know, now it's about $350 and I bought this one for $354 a couple weeks ago. So, you know, you could imagine if you had bought a couple of these during the Into the Spider-Verse movie for 450 and seeing a lot of them go for 350 now, you could get... A little bit frustrated so yeah in general I always recommend to kind of you know wait at least six months until the movies out of theaters or the shows off air um, or you know the announcement happened and then a lot of times an announcement will happen and then the announcements not for like a show or a movie for another two or three years those announcements you really just want to wait like a month or two um, that happened with She-Hulk when the She-Hulk Disney Plus series came out those She-Hulk issues that are normally $350 for a first She-Hulk in the CGC 9.8 went up to $550 for about two, three weeks. Um, now they're selling for about $389, $400, like they're getting right back to that $350 level. So that's number one, you know, try not to purchase during those crazy promotion-filled environments and, you know, be patient. And that kind of goes into our second uh, um, kind of mistake here is uh, you kind of, you, you just, you're not patient and you buy a full retail price. And uh, yeah, patience is, helps a lot uh, when you're buying CGC 9.8 books if you really want to get a good price. Um, so yeah, the second mistake, not being patient and uh, buying for full retail price. I brought my uh, Batman the Dark Knight Returns number one out, CGC 9.8 white pages. Uh, and uh, this is a book that I purchased earlier on in my collecting, and I basically bought it from someone in Canada for like a full retail price. It ended up being about 800 US, which is really expensive, I would say. <laughs> but uh, uh, certainly, I've seen, saw some of these in auctions go for like 450 to 500. 
but you know, at that time, just being naive and, um, again, uh, I, I was more naive at the time and just not caring. And it was the only one in Canada. And at that time I was really skittish about buying anything from the U S and bringing it over the border. But those, there's always, for whatever issue you might want out there, there's always a full price, buy it now, retail price, whether it's on eBay, where people are trying to get, you know, top dollar for books. Whereas if you're patient and you wait for an auction, a lot of times you'll see that book go for a lot less. And uh, yeah, the, again, about 450 to 550 in an auction, maybe pushing 600 for a real nice one in a new case. And I purchased and buy it now for 800, which is... I've made other videos on this too as one of my kind of bigger mistakes, <laughs> for sure. Um, and the third mistake is, um, you know, uh, just kind of a very basic mistake is you you don't search like completed listing sales for whatever book you want. So you're just kind of not knowledgeable on what the prices are and maybe you go on eBay and you buy the cheapest one, but really even the cheapest one is not very cheap and that for a lot of books that's how it's like on eBay. Um, so yeah, you always want to search completed listings for whatever book it is. And then you say, Oh, you know, the last four went for this price, get the average of that. That's going to be like a pretty fair price for, um, you know, the book that you may want. And yeah, so, um, you know, you, you do those, those are kind of the three, you know, uh, mistakes within a mistake almost to that, uh, all equal to overpaying basically. Um, so yeah, you always want to do completed listings to know sort of the average price of your book. You always want to be patient. So, you know, don't go out there buying sort of buy it now is, you know, you, if you're patient and you wait for an auction, you'll, you'll save a lot of money and you don't want to buy in a promotion filled, um, you know, environment where more kind of noobs and just more people in general being attracted to the market at that time. And that's going to push up prices just by, cause that's what happens. Um, like even, um, uh, I'll give you kind of a preview of a book I just purchased. Um, it was, uh, it's a Batman 666 CGC 9.8 and it's first appearance of Professor Pig and first Damian Wayne as Batman. So kind of two first appearances, but, uh, Professor Pig's a really cool Batman villain that was on the Gotham show and it was really well received on the Gotham show. And this book, Batman 666, during that time it shot up to, yeah, like 150, 175 to 200 even. Um, and there's still people trying to get that online, uh, those type of prices. But if you wait for an auction, you can get it for about a hundred bucks now, nowadays. Um, you know, the Gotham series is done. The Professor Pig hype is completely over. I still like him. He's an awesome uh, Batman villain, I think. Um, so yeah, I was able to grab one in Canada for really cheap shipping for one nineteen ninety nine, I think it was. So one twenty, I guess. Really cheap shipping in Canada. I've seen it go for cheaper. I've seen this go for like 90 bucks in an auction, you know, 85, but those were in the States with crazy shipping to Canada. So I wasn't able to kind of jump on those, but a fair price for this book now. And, uh, I've seen them go on our pricing videos, the Batman 666 for about that 120, 110, uh, area. Um, whereas when there was a lot more hype during that professor pig Gotham series appearance, um, that was going for 50 to 75 bucks more, which is quite a lot for that book. So yeah, that that's the biggest mistake because you know I think an overarching rule I always like to follow is buying what you love but you, you know that's usually pretty easy but on top of that I think if you overpay significantly and a lot and you're just following the hype and trends and an announcement happens and you decide you like that and like it's better just to kind of follow your heart and you know look on Instagram and like you know don't listen to kind of Disney announcements to um, see what you, you really like, you know, look on Instagram and follow people on Instagram there. There's always great covers being posted and people posting a lot of awesome stuff and then make note of some of the things that you really think are great and then go buy those. Don't listen to like Disney announcements or new movies to like go out and buy things because yeah, you just end up overpaying a year later, you find out you overpaid, you feel really bad about it, you get frustrated and then you get turned off to the hobby. So I think that's um, yeah, kind of one of the, uh, sort of the loop that happens when you, uh, overpay and you buy in a promotion filled environment and you're not patient and, uh, when you don't do your completed sales searches. And, uh, one thing to make, uh, just a point here is, um, 
you know, I wouldn't ever get discouraged if you buy a book for a fair price. So like, say you look up your completed listing searches and like a book sold for 120, 130, 86, and 93, all the same book in the CGC 9.8. If you end up paying like 115 or 120 for that book, um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily feel bad about that at all. That's like a fair price for your book. And, you know, a lot of times you just don't want to be that patient to wait for an auction because in general, the ones that go for the lower end of the price are auctions that maybe don't have the best pictures that, um, you know, there's a little more unknowns there. So a lot of times if it's a, you know, a good shipping deal, the pictures look good and you know, the it's right around the sort of average to lower price of the range of the books because it's really hard to get like the cheapest, you know, book that had sold in the last six months of that specific issue you want. So never get discouraged if you pay a fair price for a book. I, I definitely, because uh, I think you can get discouraged and that can turn you off to the hobby. So I just wouldn't want anyone to get turned off to the hobby for overpaying. All right. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. And, um, yeah, so you know what, really quick, I'll just go over everything again. Don't buy during hype, because you're going to pay higher prices during hype. you got to be, be patient, and, um, you know, there's a lot of full retail prices issues out there. If you're patient, wait for an auction, you're probably going to pay a lot less. And uh, do completed sales searches all the time. That's, you know, a lot of people don't do that, and then they don't really have any knowledge on what the prices are, and they end up overpaying. Uh, so if you just do completed sales, you see the last five or six that sold, you get a real good idea of what a fair price of your book is, and uh, you go from there. All right, that's uh, be it for all for this. Uh, video. That'll be all for today's video. Uh, I'd invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8, and uh, make sure you hit the bell, get all our latest notifications, and yes, that'd be super helpful. It's still at kind of the early stage of this channel, I feel. So um, yeah, I need all the subscribers we, we can get. Uh, Thanks so much for watching the video today. I really wanted to uh, kind of address, uh, you know, make one video about, you know, a lot of the mistakes I think that uh, are easy to make buying CGC 9.8 comics. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.